Hello everyone, today we are talking about LCX and we're talking about price predictions. Price predictions, I think everyone doesn't really like price predictions because they're always based on nothing. They're just thrown out of nowhere. You know, I could say LCX is going to $10,000 with no backing and then, you know, fair enough, fair enough. I don't have to give my reasoning. Um, but I want to give some reason to why, what can we expect for LCX in terms of purchasing power against the actual tokenomics? That's what we want to focus on. What sort of markets are they entering? Where is the actual exchange? Where is it headed for the future? Are they on the right path? I think they are. What is the actual utility of the LCX token? All of that, everything combined. Lot of value. If you enjoy LCX videos, leave a like down below. And before we go into anything else, we have to talk about the Decent Wallet. Links are down below. Discounts are down below. And the thing I like about Decent, they pretty much support the majority of cryptos, ledger takes forever. Let's just say LCX. You got yours on the decent wallet. Let's talk about maybe underground cryptos like ALBT. It is there. Very low cap cryptos. Um, was pay. Sorry, just mispiped that there. Was pay. We got that there. GBEX. We got there. Majority of cryptos are on decent wallet. If you actually bought one during the event, submit a uh, claim more form so you can actually get your free Tezos. Check those down below. Without further ado. Here we go. Okay, so let's talk about LCX in comparison to other exchanges, you know, versus Crypto.com, versus Binance. Well, firstly, LCX, we are very, very early. We are more in the infancy stages in comparison to these other cryptocurrencies that have been around for, you know, five, ten years. We are very, very early within this process. I don't expect to see prices move for quite some time, in my opinion. But we are approaching regulations. That's why I believe LCX is going to thrive. Let's just take Europe, for example where it dictates that only crypto exchanges that are fully licensed and regulated in countries within Europe can actually provide services within the EU. And I only know LCX to be one of the only exchanges, if not the only exchange, to be fully licensed and complying within the EU. And here we have on LCX, the EU's leading crypto regulation MICA. So we can see here, uh, markets and crypto assets is a regulatory framework created in 2018 to establish a standard licensing system across all EU member states by 2024. 2024. And we see down here in relation to LCX, um, LCX is very aligned to comply with MICA regulations. This is because LCX offers a regulatory platform for its users to give them at ease about the security of their investments. It has been regulated by the Financial Market Authority of Liechtenstein, complying with eight blockchain technology regulations. They were also cited in a 2020 document by MICA themselves. I'm pretty sure when it comes to regulations, LCX has got it handled down. You know, they're an exchange, but that's what they're primarily focusing on right now, is regulations and compliance. Now, we've got that in the sort of things, you know, where LCX is going in the future, you know, we're good in time in the market. Let's talk about the utility of the LCX token before we get into price prediction. So we can see here, LCX Oracle pays fees for LCX's regulated reference price services. LCX Vault, going to go into more detail about that in that in a second, pays fees for Vault and custody solutions. LCX Terminal slash DeFi, pro user monthly fees. LCX Exchange, reduced fees at LCX's decks. That is just a few examples of the utility of the LCX token. Now, when you think about all the fees of, you know, the services that are offered by LCX AG, trading fees, subscription fees paid in LCX. Also, we just talked about there the LCX Vault. Any secure exchange needs to offer institutional grade security. You can see all of the benefits uh, listed there when it comes to, you know, security and everything involved. And for them, the actual needing an LCX token where you're going to see customers, clients, institutions, you know, offer, you know, to pay in LCX for them to have custody of the crypto. So in conclusion, there's demand for the LCX token, not to mention in the future, possibly staking coming around more demand for LCX. The tokenomics are not too bad, but when you actually think about the actual market cap, so 31 mil, fully diluted 38 mil, it compares to the actual market it's trying to capture when it comes to tokenized securities, insane, the billions, the trillions, tokenization itself, in the trillions, your World Economic Forum uh, predictions, 24 trillion by 2027. It's really, really insane how huge this project can actually get when it comes to all that. I really feel like we're here before the storm. When I've said before in previous videos, we are invested in a regulated exchange before regulations are here. We are invested in a future blockchain bank before it even is one. We are so, so early. But first, let's actually look at some predictions here by this article by Bitcoin Wisdom. 
Bitcoin wisdom. Now you can guess what it's going to be for altcoins, but we can see here down below a lot of you know uh, jargon here, but we can see. So 2025, we have minimum price 16 cents and maximum price 18 cents. And that is very very bearish. You know 2030, um, eight to nine x. That is ridiculous. But let's take this into consideration with the actual one we have here with the community. Most voted one is five dollars per LCX, and two to three dollars and fifty cents, then one dollar. Now, my final price prediction for the video and coming to an end of the video is got to be that mid, you know, two to three dollar sort of range because taking everything into consideration, regulations approaching, possibly being one of the top tier exchanges once regulations are here, the endless utility of the LCX token. Thinking in further to twenty twenty five, how many more? Yeah, you know, currencies are going to be listed, um, tokens are going to be listed on LCX, the further liquidity, more volume that's going to have for LCX, where they're going to be in terms of the market, that sort of positioning, you know, huge ties to the World Economic Forum, and I believe they will have their way, whether we like it or not. I do believe it's going to be chosen in these sort of realms, and that's, you know, a 50 to 60, you know, 70x on your money. That is so, so good. If you're DCing during these hard times, and not many people are. Look at the rich list. You can see here to be in the top 10% of holders, you only need $2,000 or more. That is pretty much it for today's video. You know, going forward with LCX, I'm very excited. This whole FTX situation has really made me more bullish on LCX. Obviously, you're seeing that whole situation. Then the volume go up by like, you know, 20,000%, you know, huge liquidity uh, with LCX in terms of the actual volume, you know, go, it was like 92 grand right now. At times we were seeing, you know, four, five, six million dollars worth around the FTX situation, a bit sus. You know, you see the, these exchanges showing proof of reserves. You're not seeing proof of liabilities. And that's really where you want to be looking. And I put my trust in LCX as an exchange. And I don't have much trust in any other exchange, to be quite honest. You know, I trust KuCoin. I have a feeling it's down below. I might remove them because you're using their, if you go into KuCoin right now, there's huge APYs they're offering, like 200%. Like that is mind blowing to me. I need to look further into that itself. LCX, tokenization, real world assets, diamonds, tokenization of diamonds, NFT, tokenized diamonds, real ownership, representation. If you want to learn more about the actual trillions the LCX is getting involved with, check out this video here. It is taking on trillions. I'll leave it in the top right somewhere for you guys to check out. But if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.